If you are working on yourself for some time, it is spirituality, self-development, different practices, programs, favorite YouTubers or whatever you do, and you don't really see a changes, this video is for you. So stay until the end because I'm going to share with you how you can shift things around, you know, with a list effort, list resistance, without all the times forcing, pushing, putting all your energy in, you can just shift this by shifting a thing. So stay tuned. Yo, yo, everybody, it's Polly, and welcome to my channel where I'm sharing everything about spirituality, self-development, love attraction, but not all this mass media that everyone is keep doing, keep repeating, been it, done it. Thank you. We're getting here much deeper, much deeper into the rules and laws of the universe, of the reality, you know, which are basic, yet people are not really sharing. People are moving into law of attraction, you know, manifesting overnight, do this three steps and you're going to be a millionaire. Guys, sorry. If you're one of those people that believing in those things, they may happen. However, you are not a monk sitting in the Himalayan mountains and whatever you're going to snap at the fingers, it will happen. Because most likely you try things already and they may work for you. If they work, congrats, because they do. You know what I mean? However, we do have mind, a very complex thing, that unfortunately taking over the heart. You know what I mean? Heart is intuition. Heart is connecting to your higher self, to your chakras, to the best version of you, to your gut, to the feeling that is beyond, that is true. However, very often, in majority of cases, like, let's be honest, 98% of people have, is not even aware that it's something more, something beyond. They can work on yourself, they can attract things, they can change your reality. So you are already in a 2%, which is a big achievement in this spiritual awareness circle, right? However, now, nowadays, is so much of content. Like, you know, we're not lacking informations. Now we've got so many informations that sometimes, I don't know what about you, but sometimes you may get lost. Like, this is good or this is good. If you're gonna ask, the avocado is good for you, you will find information, yes, it's amazing. But you will also ask, is avocado bad for me? And you will find information that will confirm the avocado is bad for you. Do you know what I mean? And you can find those kind of informations about everything all the time, internet and, and all those different platforms. So what I want to share with you that it helped me in my journey, and I hope, I know it will help you, is not some magic formula, some fairy tale story that you will give you empty hopes and that you may get disappointed, fed up with the spirituality, with loss of universe, because you've listened to so many things, you've tried so many things, but they did not work as they promised, you know? And, and I don't want to give you this sugar coat. I just want to share with you which things works for me. Because believe it or not, I am on the spiritual journey. Um, six years now? Six years, something like this. And at the beginning, I was like, wow, wow, we were about love attraction. You know, we attract what you are. How cool is this? And start diving into that, um, digging the holes about more different spiritual practices and this and this and this. You know, to the point that I realized everything was on a very shallow level that I couldn't actually manifest big things. Because, you know, like small things that were happening, like manifest a spot when you park in your car, manifest someone to call you that you were thinking about, manifest a, a, a money that you found in your pocket, you know, and those schools, are, those things are cool. However, if it comes to bigger things, a love, money, opportunities, success, it wasn't that colorful, you know what I mean? And I, I could practice things um, consistently, very disciplined every day, but things were still not showing up. So I knew that something is that I am or not doing or something is that I am doing wrong or something that I don't know about. So um, think about yourself, like wherever you are in the journey, is it the case that you're always manifesting everything? And maybe it's the case that some things are just not happening no matter how much you try. Exactly. And, you know, uh, we are living in this era that, unfortunately, is everything on based on 
walk walk work rat race green 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 you're gonna put more work out you're gonna get more things back you know and unfortunately what is happening is it's getting people very overwhelmed burned out tired exhausted and still not getting things that they want that they see some celebrity that spoke on the youtube or whatever someone who spent 10 years working and actually putting effort have that thing and they say to you you need to work you know and things not coming so easy if you're gonna work for 10 years consistently building 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 it will happen and don't get me wrong it will happen but this is something very logical it will happen to everybody who will freaking put the hard work for consistent years you know, sleepless nights and all the times being on it. The magic is in having things, attracting things with least effort, with it, get more, do less. Do you know what I mean? This is the, the ideal thing. How we can attract things in life without hustling, without killing ourselves, without feeling tired and exhausted all the time. You know what I mean? Because if nothing changes, nothing changes. If you're always going to be putting so much of effort and always putting that goal, that desire that you want first and, you know, doing everything, hustling towards that thing, trust me, nothing will change. As much as you want that thing, as many practices you will do, as much consistently you will be doing things, you know, focusing on that thing, visualizing, scripting, different practicing, whatever you do, it, it, it won't change. I'm sorry, but it won't change. It won't change. So what I want to share with you, and this was a big lesson for me, very big, because this was a main thing that I've realized I'm doing wrong, or I'm not doing, or and that's why I'm not having a life that I would like to have. You know, it's not even talking about the dreams, the desires. It's talking about, have you ever heard this being in the vortex? Feeling good, feeling like the life makes sense like that you're like you're, you're on a good path things are happening for you you're meeting people opportunities situations things are just coming to you effortlessly you know and even if you've got some challenges even if there are obstacles this is freaking normal this is life that we've decided to play so even they are happening you're like okay i'm not getting really uh, involved emotionally i'm not getting upset i'm not getting into fights i'm not getting like stressed about things are just happening and you know, don't get me wrong, I'm an emotional person. Don't get me wrong, I was a person that I was like seeing situation, act, reacting to the situation and like emotionally being involved, too happy, too sad, it, uh, a roller coaster like this, no? So let me share this with you. The moment I dropped the importance to what I want it was the moment that I start attracting the things. I'm gonna repeat this, the moment I drop importance and that clinginess and that holding onto things and that wanting onto things the moment i dropped things are start happen to me okay and i'm not saying you need to forget about the thing you, you need to stop wanting that thing you need to say you know no, i want you i never gonna thought about think about you again no this is so wrong you need to come from the point of view from the perspective i want that thing I know I'm going to have that thing. I'm doing everything. I'm doing practices morning and evening. I'm feeling like I'm going to have it. I'm embodying the feeling as that person who's got that thing. Do you know? You just need to become a person, a you, the version of you who's already achieved those things. This is, and this is a big thing. Don't think about when I'm going to get this, I'm going to be happy. When I'm going to have that, uh, I, this is going to be fulfilling me. When I'm going to have that career, the job, the money, I'm going to feel accomplished and successful. No, this is about here and now. The life that you have is a, pres a representation of you. So if you're worrying about things, if you're complaining about things, if even you pretending, I'm going to have it, I'm going to have it, but behind your head is like, why is it not happening? Why is it not happening? It's not happening. The feelings matter. Not words, you know what I mean? In this reality, because this is energy. The words is just the creation of human beings to be able to communicate. In different, no, I don't know, languages, they speak different language. In different parts of the world, people communicate by signs or not even speak about sounds. You know what I mean? So this is just creation. Everything is based on feelings, how you feel, 
what kind of feelings you emanating that's how you creating this reality you're living in so super important whatever you want feel like you know it's happening you know you're gonna get it it's just a matter of time and release that importance if you know it's happening why would you put that thing on the pedestal if you know it's happening like logically why it's happening i'm cool I'm cool, I know it's happening. Enjoy the moments, enjoy the life, embody, feel, walk, speak like the person you want to be. As simple as this, and this is not faking until you make it. I don't like that. No. You know it's coming. You don't need to fake anything. And why it didn't happen before? Because you didn't embody this way. Because you wasn't so relaxed. The moment I promise you, the, I promise you, the moment you release the grip and start living, enjoying, having time for yourself without grain, grain, grain. Trust me, when you give yourself a space to live, to laugh, to enjoy, to take a deep breath, you will see, remember my words, things will start happening. Not things that you plan to happen, not things that you force to happen, unexpected things. Be open to receive them. There will be opportunities, there will be offers, there will be situations, there will be signs that you are not even aware of it because it's coming from beyond. When you open your heart to this, the things will come in a magical way. Please remember this and come back and share your success story. Share the comments, ask in the comments and share your stories. You know, I'm so happy to see, to, to, to experience and to be a part of your journey because I'm here to help you. So if you like this video or you took any values whatsoever, give me a thumbs up and the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, da -da 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 -da, this is your opportunity and um, hit bell icon so you always be notified about my new videos. And this is a gift for you. Two videos that will level up your consciousness, that will level up the way how you perceive things and see where to start that feeling journey. The relationship journey. This is crazy important. I want you to watch, okay? And for now, I kiss you. I love you. I miss you. Ciao. Until the next time.